Hello everybody, welcome to the round, no, quarter-final, not the round of anything, round of eight. Quarter-final between Mr. Page and his Chaos and Chew Blanc and his Dwarves. And this looks absolutely brutal for Chew Blanc. Uh, in the booth with me is PC. Hello. Hello, hello. Well, what a uh, brief but exciting couple of turns we're going to have here. <laughs> Uh, this Chaos team has everything. It's just utterly, utterly filthy. There's almost nothing you would add to it, really, um, except, you know, putting some of the one-skill players to two or whatever. But for everything it's got, it's got the lot. The Dwarves are pretty fine. I mean, it's a decent-looking Dwarf team for what that means. They've come up with a plan. It's not a very good one, but they're going to try and put it into action. Um, I, I think this is going to be brutal, Jim. But hope springs eternal in Blood Bowl, doesn't it? Yeah. He had he had skill ups and he's just spent them on piling on. I thought he'd have given like three fend or whatever, but he's just got mighty blood piling on with his extra skill ups. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah. Mister <laughs> Page's team is incredible. Or sorry, sorry, Mister Page's team is incredible. Here he's got it this, is. he's got this edge five, edge five fella here with blood sure hands, and he's got a strength four edge four. Blood guard. He's got loads of guard, loads of claw mighty, two full claw pommers with tackle. It's pretty much as close to perfect chaos team as you can possibly get. Yeah, absolutely. The warriors are brutal. Every single one of them is just bristling with death. Uh, they've got all the skills you'd want them to have. As you said, there's two full on claw pomming beasts uh, for that lovely um, at, with tackle as well, just because why not? Uh, for that full-on death array. And then all the other beasts, as you said, there's a brilliant ball carrier, and then there's another brilliant ball carrier, uh, both of which are great handoff options for each other. And then all the remaining beasts just happen to come with guard, because that's standard on beasts now. <laughs> yep. Uh, which gives all the assists it wants for the claws and the claw palms to do their work. Uh, if there's a chance here, there isn't. Uh, that's one dwarf dead already. If there's a chance here, there, there really there just isn't. Don't listen to this bit. Just go and make some tea. But if there's a chance here, it revolves around some of the beastmen not having block and one of the warriors being only block guard. Or Canada leaving the world in a small jet for outer space. Uh, Mr. Page getting a life, giving up Blood Bowl. I mean, there's there's some chances here, but there, there's few and far between. Well, Pom on Armour 8 isn't that much worse than Pom on Armour 7, right? So there's every chance that, that Chubon can just dice him. He can Pom Armour 9 as well and get lucky. So yeah. he can Pom back and get really lucky. He can rely on Mr. Page greeting uh, kind yeah. of pointlessly and frivolously spending all his rerolls. He's got the Wizard, which isn't very good as Dwarves, is it? Especially as he's, oh, benched, his best, uh, he's benched his best chance to use that Wizard, which is his runner. Yeah, um, absolutely. So, I mean, he can't really use the wizard to recover. I think what he's going to try and do is survive this half and chip yeah. and then drive home with the wizard and hope there's not enough chaos left that he eventually gets on top of the AV-8. Yeah. Um, it, it is a plan. It's also why he's kept... He's rented in a Merc DP, hasn't he? Yeah. And it's why he's kept that off the line of scrimmage is he wants to try and take a Claw Pommer out with it. Yeah. Uh, he'll take the swap if that comes. Um, he does have a bench of two, which is the same bench that Chaos have. Um, he's already one person down, but you know numbers are going to swing. He, he's going to look and try and remove as many of these beastmen as he can. There's almost no point hitting the warriors. You've got to try and snipe a beastman each turn whilst not remaining on claw. Even yeah. Though he's, oh, this is a nice chain for an extra hit. What, what, what I would have already done, I would have just run away already if I was him, because yeah, if you run away, you can. Uh, keep most of the team for the second half and overtime when which might both be your drives yeah. yeah i see what you mean but look he's chipped a beast there and uh, he's put nothing at risk wow. i mean he'll be within risk of the blitz but it's a missing um on a beast that was already minus av so it was a really nice target there yeah nice very nice <laughs> Page pegs it. <laughs> oh, um, Page has 13 players total. Yeah, Daka without the ball, exactly. Well, they each have 12 now. I mean, yeah. what I would think of as a true Daka just running away. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be happy to name that a Daka. <laughs> so, I mean, to be honest, both plans working so far. You know, the Chaos one dwarf up. 
The dwarves chipped a beast back. Uh, it is the beasts where they're going to find the value. Uh, as I said, lots of them have guard, but nothing else. So that does make them very vulnerable to a hit. And on the floor, you can't be claw pomp, so that some of the better pieces may be protected by claw pomping. Mm. By uh, just pomping, not claw pomping. Mm. The bribes, do, the dwarfs don't have a bribe, but they do have an extra apple and two bibs. So, yeah, very much about trying to keep the players on the field. Well, we might just see a quick score from Mister Page again. He did, he did that uh, in the last game, didn't he? It, it, he's going to grieve this, I'm sure. Yeah. No! Wow! Yep, some restraint from Mr. Page very, very early. I mean, he's already greeted one and it didn't. It did get results, didn't it? Um, yeah. Oh, no, it might be in the blitz. It might add only it did. Yeah, yeah that, is, that is a little unusual. Yeah, if you're going to greet with Claw Mighty, you should absolutely greet with Claw Pump, shouldn't you? Like, greeting with yeah. Claw Mighty is a bit rubbish because. Probably I mean, to be, and also, and then leaving it out in the open where surely to God it's going to get smacked and maybe even fouled. Um, it is a, it's an unusual choice. He's still got three rerolls, which is quite a few. Um, and it was a reasonable piece. It was a mighty blow guard to try and chip. It's it's a strange decision. I thought it was a better target than the last one that he greeted. Yeah, for sure. But maybe, he's, you know, he had four, so he just thought, fuck it, I've got four. Well, Mystic Jim is in the house. It does look like he's pushing up for a very quick score. Yeah. Yeah, it's what he did. Like, you know, it's, I think it's this what is thought, Wiz, you know, it this is Wiz fear. Yeah, I think so. It's what he, it's what he did last time. I uh, thought he might just do it again. But, I mean, that's great for the dwarves, isn't it? To be honest, yeah. Um, I'm not sure how hard I would... And you know how I love defending everything, Jim, with my every ounce of my huge body. <laughs> my massive corporal form just denies that other people should ever be allowed to score. Um, but this might be one of those where just pulling back to prevent an easy stall mm. uh, whilst trying to chip a piece is a good way forward. Yeah. Absolutely going to pom this pom claw pom here. This is an incredible blitz. Incredible guy to hit there, isn't it? I think it has to be. The only thing you're putting at risk is you're putting it onto the agility 5 piece. And I'm absolutely fine with that. I'd quite want a mighty blow on it. Yeah. Just in case of an earlier turn fail that leaves it there. or you know, Even then, it's a, it's still got a 2 plus to dodge away. That's a chance to pull a reroll. Yep. So yeah, you put a mighty blow on that, and then you mighty blow, piling on the uh, the claw pommer, and you probably, other than hitting the chaos warrior, pull everything back. Other than that, yeah. just so that you've got some ability to try and stop this stall. Foul the warrior. Foul the warrior. <sighs> I don't think you can get a good angle. There's I mean, no you can to... foul the claw pommer if you take the warrior out first. You can hit you, the claw pommer towards up. your own touchdown mm -hmm. line. No, he'd stood up. You couldn't hit the warrior. He'd, he'd oh, wow. Okay. He's Not taking on... Yeah, it's all about position here, and I think it will see a foul. If he doesn't, he removes on the POM. Wow. POM on AV9 doing a job wow. there. You're slightly ahead of me, PC, but it's okay. <laughs> well, um, I'm sorry to ruin that beautiful surprise. Yeah. But as a man that, that fancies the occasional little beard like I do, you've got to think that piling on to an AV9 warrior and taking it out is a beautiful moment. Yep. I'm, I'm chimescent. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's, that's the apple gone for Mr. Page and it's all of a sudden this has been two blitzes yeah. and two cars for <laughs> two blocks so far. Which is pretty good, isn't well, it? Pretty lucky. It, that could have been, of course, the uh, claw bomb that he just cast, but never mind. Yes. Yes. Which would have been beautiful. Um, but it's still, it's a, uh, you know, it's the Apo gone. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Mr. Page does often play a little bit shy when the Apo's gone. He also does not like dwarves. Uh, he yeah. does like killing them, and it's not the level of Andy Davo not liking dwarves, but he doesn't like them. Nobody should like dwarves. Right, I'm going to be right back, sorry. Now, this is really interesting here. We're seeing uh, Shu just uh, with a massive dwarf line saying, Pom me if you dare, I will foul you back. No real attempts to stop the ball just marching down the edge. Uh, it's a little bit of a psychological war, this, as well as a real one. And I wonder if we're going to see it work. I have a feeling Mr. Page is just going to hit with a claw mighty warrior and uh, seek a good stalled up position around this ball. 
I don't think he's going to use the claw palm. Okay, so we're seeing the two agility pieces come down the field. Now Page does know he's got three minutes and he does like to use them when they're available to him. Sorry for that. Sorry about that. That's all right. Uh, to be honest, nothing happened while you were gone. Brilliant. <laughs> uh, the two agility beasts advanced to the positions you see them in, and just as you returned, the uh, the two guard beasts and the warrior took up those positions. It's all he has reversed the field, which is the phrase I like. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's all very de defensive. As you were gone, I speculated that we might see a warrior blitz rather than a claw palm blitz. With the Apo gone, I don't think he's going to want to put the claw palm down somewhere where it can be found easily. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I'm right, Luck. He's hiding them. <laughs> so that's quite a little uh, quite a little feather in the psychological warfare cap for... Uh, oh, he does greet that one, though. For Shu. It doesn't even break armor. She will be thumbing his nose in that general direction. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting now. These three strength falls holding the line. Yeah. How do you it's a fully this? it's a it's a fully defended uh, reversed field, isn't it? There's I mean, because we had that lovely, lovely wall down the middle, which was so hard to attack, it means we've got nothing back to defend this storm. Yeah. Um, you can see the chaos sitting there all half if they choose to. Yeah. It can take every dwarf you've got to get through these three chaos warriors. Yeah, I, I didn't like that. I, I thought he should have gone back to about here. So then, again, as you said, like all you've got to do is stop him being able to stall down there. Yeah. Let him have the early TD, but make sure he can't stall it. I mean, it, it's it's specifically the two midfield pieces. Those are the ones I would have wanted to not given that space to. Um, on the sideline, you can probably not stop him getting that kind of shape together. But if you've got some dwarves further back in the middle, then you can pressure him from the side. And it, he may not have to score in, you know, turn four, but he probably will in turn five. That was a nice play, wasn't it, to get the extra, get the chain yep. and extra hit. That was really nice, yeah. Doubled up his hits. As the dirty player foul if he wants yeah. it. Stayed entirely safe. There's two assists because of the one that piled on. Yeah. I, mean, I, I think that's a nice enough. I mean, he needs to high roll. I think that's a possibility too. Yeah. So I think I would be taking it. But I think we'll see. Could. He's kept it, kept it dry so far. It <laughs> is going in. He might be armor eight as well because one of these warriors is armor eight. Wasn't, but he's got the stun. I'm pretty sure one of the warriors is armor eight. Maybe I'm just. Maybe it's movement four. Yeah, it's a movement four, and it's that one. Right. Yeah, yeah, he's a movement four. Okay. Right. Well, it's not armor eight. Disregard. Um. <laughs> no, there yeah. was a low armor beastman, but that was the first blitz took him out, didn't it? Yeah. 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 The the armor seven beastman's gone. Yeah. Um. And to our Yeti, what did I think about that reroll? I thought it was absolutely fucking terrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of the three he's the three hits he has thought about greeting, the two he has done I wouldn't have done. And the one he didn't I would have thought about doing, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um so I think all three were pretty much the wrong choice. Yeah. But that I mean that's remarkable in itself. <laughs> yeah. Only the push. Is he going to greet this as well? He yeah. can't. It's he surely can't. He is. Yeah. Why not? Mr. Page. Of course he can. <laughs> I mean, it's it's a loner, dirty player, really. What else? He's, what else is he going to use rerolls on? Well, true. I mean, I do think he intends to stall the entire half out, but to leave yourself four more turns with one reroll feels a little. Um, 
well, aggressive. Yeah, it does, but I, I, honestly, I don't hate it at this point. Like when when you're so far ahead, like he is now, how how are the doors going to get any pressure on you? Yeah, they're, they're not. Mm. I mean, they. Well, I mean, you say that they always can because Mr. Page has decided to open this position up. Yeah, which is <laughs> just. I mean, as elves, you want that shape, but as strong things, you want more. A, you know, proximity to each other a little bit. Oh, and yeah, fine, just. Oh, wow. Well, I think now you might hit his. Uh, <laughs> now you might be yeah, taking this... on his killer. <laughs> okay. Um, if anyone wants to watch this game back after this, or if Mr. Page is watching the VOD back, have a look at the position right <laughs> after he moved his first piece and how strong it is compared to how incredibly weak this position is. <laughs> and then ask yourself why he did any of those moves. <laughs> Um, and uh, if I could offer a prize, I'd be really interested because it was all awful. Wow, two Bronx uses last over there because he yeah. really wanted the knockdown to get through there. Yeah, I mean, that would have been beautiful. He would have sprung this awful, awful defense apart, but it didn't happen, and I'm not sure the reroll was the way to do that. Mm. I think that was greedy, and now he's coming in and trying to monster everything. This is, this is full-on risk now. What's going on? It's a good question, our Yeti. Wow. Um, well, Mr. Page just put up one of the worst defensive <laughs> turns I've seen in this stage of the chalice for a while, um, but has completely got away with it because a two die didn't get a power. It wasn't perhaps the ideal point to try and attack it either. And then Shoe Blanc has gone, ah, what the hell? And followed him with everything he's got in the face of all of this claw. Now, because of all of his guard, just numbers. It could work. I don't like this though. He's he's putting like two shitters on the claw, but if yeah. he put in the two guards as well, then maybe they could have done something. I guess. Yeah, and if you're going to do it, do it. I mean, yeah. you know, everything. Commit. Yeah, don't because, do the half mans. No, I mean the first thing that happens is the two shitters get banged down, and once that's happened, he's pretty much safe. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure this is good from Shu. What about Chu? You can block him and then claw upon him and then hit him and then claw him and then he'll be looking great and you know, I don't care about the ball. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I Although, you know, this is Mr. Page, so again, that's probably not the first thing I would have done, is to stand that fella up, because, you know, you're just about to knock the loner over, and he could have dodged out at the end of the turn, but never mind. It's always nice to give him something to hit back. Yep. And that probably solves it, that's done. Yep, very nice. Screw now here's the interesting bit this is a one in nine if this beastman takes on the obvious next block yeah both of them in fact yeah doesn't actually have to wait for that he could just move the claw upon piece and shield his ball and be absolutely secure and safe and then <laughs> do it but you know joking aren't you I Instead, he's blitzing it into somewhere where it can't dodge off afterwards. That's fine. But it's worked. Hasn't broken armor, though. Really wanted that pile on, and he's going to do it anyway. And now he does break armor, but only for a stun. Oh, I am a fraction ahead of you, I believe. You are a fraction ahead, yeah. You should try and delay yourself a little bit. That's always been a problem of mine, Jim, but I will. I'll think of cricket. <laughs> Think of Jermaine Greer. <laughs> that might not work with how old you are. <laughs> no, very fine woman. Interesting views on most things, but I don't necessarily agree with her about transgender issues, where I think she's old-fashioned and out of step. Um, mm -hmm. So he's, uh, instead of putting a nice, safe, defensive cage up, uh, he's banged everything out, because 55% of the time, two dies will roll a pal. Uh, and he's done it with, I think every single <laughs> yeah, dice he's rolled this turn uh, yeah. culminating there in the first apo gone 
But he's fine, Jim. He'll be back for the next drive. Yeah. Yeah, well, he had, yeah, he had it, didn't he? One of his two apples goes into there. Um, it's, um, it's quite an easy game, Blood Bowl, when every time you two die a man, uh, you get a power. Yeah, fine. I, I, like, there, not bad. I like it when that happens. Uh, you know, it, it's it, it's going to happen to us all sometimes. <laughs> Teresa Mayer's tits. <laughs> yeah, that's not something nice to think about, is it? No offence to Theresa May, of course. <laughs> um, whatever, whatever does it for you. <laughs> yeah, blood balls a lot. Just, hey, another cat. <laughs> Two blocks with like three cars off for about five blocks. It's incredible. Yeah, it's it, yeah, it's a hit rate that I'm incredibly jealous of. Despite how he got uh, smashed over last turn, he just hasn't cared, has he? He's just come back and taken out a beast every single turn. Mm -hmm. Hurrah! Now that's uh, Page's safety bench gone. He is now at a max of eleven. This is a dodgy move, though, because given that hit. I get to get moving in to get that hit gives away a claw mighty hit. Yep. Was it worth it? Should he have just won deed? Hello, calcium. Mum. Calcium. Oof. And similarly, the follow up there. I mean, putting. I mean, the guard piece was already at risk, but now it's the guard mighty blow stand firm. Yeah. Because you can't uh, stop him just standing over getting a 2D on that guy. No. Yeah, that 1D was better. He's pushing him away. He's yeah. Safe. Although there's still these two very easy claw hits. And enough beastmen to form a nice cage around the ball without those two warriors. Oh, Although whether it, whether it lasts another turn is probably not that interesting to anybody. Yep, this is Mr. Page's drive, yeah. Cage. Not much of a cage, no. He's definitely not using the whiz now, is he? I, I mean, I don't think so. I mean, when we didn't have the uh, the agility responsive piece on, I thought the whiz was ruled out this half anyway, but... Yeah. Now, I suppose if he'd got enough up on the chaos, he might have considered sniping the ball out and grabbing it with a blitzer but he'd have needed three more cars and there just hasn't been enough time for that yeah <laughs> you wouldn't think so but who knows that's a good point sick as <laughs> that's a good point you might just attrition fireball at the end what i didn't like was moving this uh pommer the pommer blitzer over there you could have moved from the other side and then he would have uh, been, you know, putting pressure on, on the yeah. warrior to stand up. But now he's just stands him up and blocks him, and he's not taking any blow hit back, is he? Nope. Although it is a stand firm, so again, it's if that forty-five percent fires. Well, if you think that's going to happen, you haven't been paying attention. <laughs> no, I, I, yeah. <laughs> no, I have. That's why I didn't want to play Blood Bowl today. I've had some brutal Blood Bowl today. Oof. Lizards that can roll nothing but pals and where skinks just laugh at mighty play. Oof. Yeah, we are seeing the stall. It's, uh, I mean, three beasts does it, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, two, frankly, because dwarves are so slow. Yeah. Particularly without the runner on the field. Oh, here we go, an armor break. But only a stun. Just a bloody stun. <laughs> There's a pal, of course. Stun for undoing nothing. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell yeah. you, man. There's another pal. Three blocks, three pals. Simple. And yet, there's only one dwarf permanently injured. They've still got an apothecary. Yeah. Um, 
And Mr. Page doesn't have an apothecary and is down to a base 11. Yeah, and he's lost a Rackle Mighty and he's lost a guard as well. He's so although he's going to score, I th I th it's kind of on as even, isn't it? Yeah. And, and obviously Tublanc has the double LOS with, with Pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, this could this could go really south for Mr. Page. Oh, there's a fail. We could have a fail dodge into death. No, look at Dog escapes because he put himself in that situation, as you said, when he did that. It was a weird blitz. It was very strange. Himself. Um, yeah, terrible place to go. The wrong dwarf to hit. Just awful. <laughs> um, but it's fine. It, it's worked out fine. It tends to for Mr. P. Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> Terrible, terrible. Oh, I Sorry, agree. I mean, I, I am trying to be more positive, but when you see things that are just awful, you, sh you have a, somewhat of a duty to say so, surely. Yeah, yeah no, I agree. Um, and that was awful. I like the, I like what you can do here, right? He puts in the... I, I guess I'm not scaring, sharing my screen so you can't see this PC, but you'll, you'll know this anyway. Hmm. Put the long beard in, stand the blitzer up, come around with the other with the frenzy blitz and the other guy. Come with the frenzy blitzer and then you chain away, chain off the claw mighty so that you, you don't get the hit. Like yeah, hit back. yeah, absolutely. Thing. You're attacking yeah, the vulnerable face. piece, but you're saving yourself from the uh, from the problem. I mean, I'm trying to work out a way to use the dirty player on one of the claw pieces. It's it's very saucy dice, but it can be done. Mm. And then you move the runner around and take the hit with the uh, the rookie beard. And if that works, you can move the beard around on a single go for it and get a two die on the claw. Uh, doing, warrior next to it. Okay, not doing any of that. You're doing none of that. But um, thank you very much, heroic tackle. I remember. I remember that skill from Blood Bowl Second Ed. Thank you very much for the hundred bits. Glorious. But he is piling on and removing another guard beastman. Wow. Mr. Page is capped at ten. Wow. Unbelievable. Three cars. Who wants a team of Claw Mighty Pom <laughs> when you can just have some dwarfs with MB and two Dyson lads? Yeah, this is no this is great play, yeah. What it, you know, this is fantastic play from Tubelon King. Very, very solid. Yeah. And there's even a one die here to make sure there's nothing at risk. Lovely. <laughs> I don't know why more coaches don't do this. I know, right? It's such a, it's such a great strategy, casting on every hit. <laughs> Four cas he's made in in six turns, and he hasn't been that many blocks, has he? Like no, he really hasn't. Mad. The numbers would be insane about now. Yeah. I mean, Mr. Page has not exactly done badly himself. We've pointed out that he tends to just not bother with things like. What, where are we going here? <laughs> Why? <laughs> We're giving a free serve because we prefer it to a claw hit. <laughs> I mean, I quite like it. I get it. But I don't think Paige is stupid. I think he'll claw it instead. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> No, poor old Noah came for the souls. He made his bow select a joke. He thought that was what was going to get the massive laugh, but he didn't realise Chu Blank was playing Blood Bowl and this was going to happen. <laughs> what, what the fuck? What's that? <gasps> what? I guess it's because he could have had this guy... Okay, I know what the reason is, right? He could have claw pommed his blitzer. He could have claw pommed his pom blitzer. So he yeah. put this guy out to take the surf. To, to say, well, I mean, look, a surf actually is less dangerous than a claw pom. Yeah. So he's saying you can have a surf. But as you said, it means the blitzer doesn't get hit. That guy, the, the, he could have got back and stopped the uh, blitzer getting uh, much of a hit with the claw pom. I mean, it was doable, but he'd have, Mr. Page would have to put other people at risk. Or he could have stood somewhere where he was going to get claw pumped. The worst that happens there is he still gets claw pumped. But if Mr. Page wants, he can surf him, which is actually not as dangerous. Yeah. But, so, but he, so insane but as it is, position, it makes it? perfect sense. Yeah, yeah, it does, because he's in a dangerous it, spot. Yeah. yeah, it demands being dealt with in some way. Yeah, incredible. I mean, 
to be fair, you can just pull the next warrior back next to the ball carrier, and it's safe except for a six plus dodge. Uh, yeah, what a five plus dodge! But then you're um, open to the uh, to the attrition fireball. You are. You are, it does bring the wizard back into play. So I think it's gonna it's gonna work. I think that piece is gonna get claw palmed, not surfed. But I think it has to be dealt with. Yeah, yeah, and he is gonna deal with it, and he's gonna yeah. with claw instead of claw palm. Ah, but into the claw palm. Very right. Nice. So he's yeah, double hitting it. That's quite nice. However. Now, if you really wanted to, and you shouldn't, you could lightning bolt the ball carrier and get a two die on the AG5. <laughs> but you, you don't have a piece to go in and snaffle the ball and punt it. No. So, if the runner was here... <laughs> That's three roll gone. Why not? Why not? Yeah, sure. He's not using it turn eight. He's just scoring. Well, now you definitely base the ball. Because that's very easy to do. Please, please, please. Well, you only need to use a, a guard beard and a rookie beard. Yeah, you're giving a claw mighty, but he might not take it, but mighty with no rerolls. Yeah, and it's a it, it's a claw mighty on either a rookie beard or just a guard beard, and it just means he's not hitting any of the others, and he's got no rerolls. I think I would still do it. Nah, you just claw some. You just claw palm this guy. Don't be daft, PC. <laughs> yeah, but just... then I don't. I don't live in a world where I remove someone two out of three hits as dwarves. So perhaps I've been wrong about Pom. It's yeah. I've certainly done the job this time. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Calcium, this is a strategy. We may not love it, some of the purists, but this is a strategy. His shoe strategy is to not fight the ball, but fight the team this half. And try and chip some pieces, and it's worked. He's in a great position considering this matchup. Yeah, he really is. No. And the piling on may have cost him positionally at times, but there, for example, it means that he's not at risk. Mm -hmm. Although you could always have just not followed up, but he's frenzy. So, but he could have put yeah. somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. And here comes the kick to the face. Hit this foul. Hit this three foul. assists. Despise or, this foul. Already stunned AV9 on turn 8. I don't think it's a great one. Though it is a claw piece, so I'd probably have given it a go. But you're gonna, you've, got, you've got your double LOS coming up, and you can still fight yeah. after that. I mean, yeah. come on, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I think you're probably right. Now, Paige cannot take a hit here. I certainly can. He's going to claw on something with three dice. He can, he can three dice. You've got a three dice. Come on, man. You've got literally, literally half the three days. If you triple score, you triple score. I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm, I think that's. I think that's got to be right. What's what's it? What, what, what Fine. Is that? Yeah, yeah. Two hundred sixteen, something like two hundred eighteen. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, it is. It's uh, it's two hundred eighteen. Yeah. No. Again, I probably would have done. So there we are, you take the hit, in it goes, Mr. Page 1-0 up, uh, he's removed a dwarf, he's yeah. cost them one of their apos, uh, but it's just not worked for him because he's down to a maximum of 10 and now faces two line of scrimmages in a row. Yeah, yeah, this is looking pretty bad for Mr. Page. It really is. Um, look, any turn, if he suddenly gets three claw hits, but the, we've had the half where he's likely to get the three claw hits. If Shu's even moderately careful, he shouldn't have more than one or maybe two a turn. Yeah. I mean, obviously try. <laughs> obviously. That's why nobody in their right mind would have ever re-rolled that. <laughs> but, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, totally try. I mean, the four re-rolls he used... I think I disagreed with... No, the three he used for greed, I think all were wrong. And the one greed he didn't do, I think I would have done. Which is extraordinary. It's... I mean, it's... It's next level. You need to have a sit and think, well, am I entirely wrong then? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I agree as well, Pedro. Yeah, there was some times when, like... It's, it's tr like, obviously, sometimes it was tricky because of the dirty player. 
But also there were times when it wasn't, and there were times when now I think he definitely should have hit with Claw Palm and didn't. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to leave yourself where you think he's going to get three, maybe four assists on an AV8 piece, that's probably not a great hit to take. Yeah. But on the other hand, if you're going to roll with it, if you're going to invest in those skills, you've got to know that Doty Player exists. That's the cost you've got to face, particularly at this level in the Chalice. Because you've brought can openers, and instead you're using you know, a rock to try and open tin cans. Well, use a can opener, you've got one. <laughs> I've tortured that analogy, but you know what I mean. You've got the yeah. specific piece that destroys dwarves, and you're not quite careful. You're not quite willing to use it. Will we I see three that's... dice blocks, or is it going to go for the one turn? Yes, it can. Tony plays poorly, but I tell you what, I'll race you to opening cans whilst you've got a reasonably sharp rock, and I've got a modern electric can opener, and let's see who opens the most cans in an hour. Oh, he's doing it shitly at the moment, unless he changes things. Okay. Well, we've um, we've got a re-roll, and uh, you know why not? Why not give it a go? Well, because you could have three claw, well, three mighty blow piling on hits and three dice. Two of them yeah, are three dice against armor eight. Yeah, and two of them are armor eight, no block. It's it's very tempting, isn't it? Yeah. And then you can foul the warrior with lots and lots and lots and lots of assists. Yeah, if you wanted to. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I just I don't believe that dwarf one turns really work against yeah. even a backline. Yeah. Um, yeah. If there's holes, then maybe I'll give it a go. But what's the point in putting all that effort work in, not getting your best hits, and then getting down there and having to still do a, you know, a five four three? Yeah. What if you what if you lose this guy? Like it's fucking stupid, isn't it? That you've kept safe all half, yeah. Yeah. Between doing that five four three. Yeah. You also started with a frenzy instead of waiting till the last day for the frenzy, which is obviously better. But never mind. Well, we're going to look foolish when it works. He has, of course, moved seven, and he is blodged, so that helps a lot. I mean, really a lot. Yeah. See, look, this last this should have been the frenzy guy here, right? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't really matter because he can push there and then push with him, but. So actually, the last guy should have been the frenzy, right? This guy should have been the frenzy, and then he could have hit him, and then he could have moved two in. Oh, he hasn't got. He's, I mean, he's done all the right things anyway, hasn't he? And also, this guy could have hit and got an extra push as well. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's been very nicely done. He's done it's, it all it's right. It's te textbook stuff for a move seven. Ooh, prob oh, this is getting three dice. Yeah. Alright, so um, he's only got a push, but now I might be able to get the last one, right? One, two, three, four. Oh, it's hard, isn't it? Can move three. I mean, the, yeah, the problem is getting the um, getting the bloody ball mm -hmm. that far now, frankly. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to have to long bomb it to, like, yeah. this fucking long beard. And he could have just knocked knocked over three people and bombed them and fouled if he wanted to foul. Can you even re roll the pass? Oh my god, imagine if that had come to there. Yeah, that would have been um, beautiful. But no. And even then, he'd still, although with Dodge, have had to have made a 5 4 3 and 2 2 pluses. So, it's, yeah, he did all the right things, but was it really going to happen? Because he was hoping that, that the inaccurate was still caught. Yeah. Um, Sick, but yeah, he should have just fucking. He should have just fucking three dice these goons. He could have three dice both fucking beast men, pom them, you know, almost certain knockdown, defenseless armor rate, poms, and then he could have got two dice on him into another two dice, and then f foul if he wanted. Like it's insanity. Uh, that was genuine insanity going for that. Yeah, he could have had him down to seven. Yeah, I mean, I really I I don't believe it would have been seven, but I do think. With the dirty player, with mighty blow and piling on two AV8 blockless pieces, I'd have really hoped to get one off. I think one is not an unreasonable hope there. Um, I mean, more is fantastic, don't get me wrong. But then if he's suddenly down to a max of nine, and I've still got 12, that's a great game state for me. Because yeah. I'm just about to do it again. He, he could have cast himself on the dodge. I mean, imagine if everything had worked, and then he casts he cast himself on the fucking dodges. Like, it would be horrific, wouldn't it? Like, I, I, obviously if he scored, it's good. Because he doesn't have overtime. 
and he's pretty happy about it. Like it is a massive payoff. Obviously, you win by. Yeah, the time. payoff is huge. It's why I'm just I'm not slamming it because the payoff is so huge. And he clearly knew what he was doing and how to do it with an AV7, and it is a blodge piece, which means breaking that line because of the lack of tackle on the uh, Chaos team. You know, it is possible. Yeah. But I think you needed to try the, the sense, sensible safe stuff early, like getting the ball to him somehow yeah. when it's kicked that deep. Also, um, this is very important, it was, you, uh, Mr. Page was out of 10 players and set up incorrectly without tackle on the wing, so it would have just been a 4-3 four, four, um, with yeah. George on all of them. So Yes, he does have to tackle, but he hit them in the middle, didn't he? Because yeah. Mr. Page... Yeah, exactly. Go on, BBL. Yeah, he should. He should have set up with, as Try said, with the pommers on the LOS in case yeah. of the bad hit. Like, yeah, and I think at the deep kick, you do think right now is the time to kick hell out of these pieces. Horrible though it is, because it, it was a good try, and like I said, a blodge piece, move seven, move six. Mm -hmm. I just don't think I'd bother, but it's so tricky to do. Yeah, yeah, move seven is, is very nice. Yeah, it does make it just that little bit easier. Right, so balls in hand. Here's the pass. Now we're getting the hits. And nice. there's the first one gone. Instant cars. Oh, maybe you should have done that. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you should have done that last turn. Here's another one, but no pile unless he risks. Okay, he is risking. Ah, no, doesn't need to pile because he's just cast it. Imagine if he'd done that last, uh, last turn. Not saying he was shitting wrong, but... <laughs> yeah. Well, Jim, I mean, it's, you know... But like, you if can't it, see it's shitting wrong because yeah, if the if the one turn oh my god he's cast him again. If the one turn had worked, he'd now be just looking at a nice easy drive to win this game. But as it happens, he's got to do it twice. There you go. Dimmy was possibly, right. You could have had him down you could have had him down to seven. Possibly take him away from the three chaos that are left yeah. if he doesn't win the overtime ball. Yeah. That and another cast! Oh Fuck. Jesus wept. <laughs> he can't even foul it, it's dead already. Four fucking cars! That's four out of four! <laughs> four cars! <laughs> I can't even foul! <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna. Uh, I can't open chat. Right, I'm pressing enter. GG. <laughs> Done. <laughs> I just don't have words, Jim. <laughs> oh my god. I just don't have words. I'm so jealous. <laughs> I'm so. That's so outrageous. That's pretty. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty fucking outrageous. <laughs> that's four out of four, Jim. Yeah. Yeah, that is, that is something, isn't it? I've had, I've had four removals many times with, like, you know, Clawpom Chaos. Yeah, but, but um, for four Kaz and not yeah. even any claw, that's that's unbelievable. No, unbelievable. two of them warriors, two of them AV nine. Yeah, unbelievable. Some days it's your day. Today is a shoe day. Uh, never, I revel. Never. <laughs> Just because it works doesn't make it right. What a consistently ridiculous game this has been for Tube Line. It oh, it, it, absolutely, absolutely. And it, look, it's and now and now Mr. Page, Mr. Page's pals have gone. They have abandoned him. <laughs> pals don't live here anymore. <laughs> oh wow! Full on greeting it. Of course he does. I understand that. I think all of us understand that. Of course it's completely wrong. But yeah. how could you not want to see more dice there? Yeah. Six dice without a pow now. Yeah. I think that's the longest Mr. Page has gone without a pow. Yeah. And it's, like I said in the first half, he got lovely dice and it just wasn't good enough because Shu got better. Yeah. And, I wonder and now... Claw Pom is going to get pommed, isn't he? Well, yes. Oh, this way this way is even better because he's got two Claw Pommers, so you go this way. Isn't, hasn't, he marked the jump, hasn't he marked the jump up? Yeah. Just leave him down for a turn. Just but he's got more than one pom, hasn't he? He's got this pom I mean, idea. Yeah, hasn't hasn't Mr. Page marked the jump up piece? He's friends yes, he with us, he can't. Yeah, you can. You uh, you go through the um, you go through the claw pom beast on the side, and then you put the two assists in. 
Yeah, but if it's a push, it's an or. It's a yeah, if it's a push, it's a push. Oh, man, I'll I live for that. the live for them now, Jim. Plus, you that. can another cars. You can re-roll it. You've got three re-rolls. What do you think they're for? <laughs> I mean, okay. Since it's guaranteed that you're gonna fucking cast the guy, then yeah, yeah okay. Do it. do it. Get it done. Notice how Shu keeps trying to move things into position where he can foul them, yeah. but they're not living long enough, <laughs> um, which is beautiful. <laughs> This is insanity. Nine. This counts. is just insanity. Um, now he doesn't need to. Now he can dodge off that piece. I mean, that's you know that'll do. There's the kill for this turn. There are now five chaos against still eleven dwarves. And none with of them one on, can with, come back. With one on the bench and an apo still. And none of them can come back. It's no. He is chaos. doing it. Just as I said. Yeah. I mean, it's still an uphill, unlike if you after you get the push, which is a bit shit, isn't it? You're not getting a push. How did, was there a world in which you thought there wasn't a power on those two dice? Jim? No, true, true. Right. I didn't kill him. He didn't kill him. I know one not me, dead. Guys. I'm restarting my client. I think there's a bug. <laughs> Flip me, guys. He didn't cast him. Do I go for the win in regular time or keep killing? No, God, no. You go for overtime here. Yeah, and you yeah. try and kill the remaining chaos. Yeah, you've got a whiz, haven't you? So you just can't yeah. lose an overtime, basically. Yeah, absolutely, it's fine. But you, you certainly don't give them the, give them a line of scrimmage until overtime. Yeah, and you, killing, can, you can get these fucks. Can't. Yeah, killing one more helps. Killing two more really helps. Just keep killing, and score as late as you possibly can. Yeah. Hope he comes. Just counts, to yeah, just counts everyone. Remember, we've still got the dirty player. Burning a hole in our team, waiting to smash that strength four in the face. Or the AG5. I mean, he's tried to use it on all sorts of other things, but they've all just died. <laughs> so it's going to get used on a proper target. Because yeah. there's no scum left. There's the two good ball carriers, there's two claw mighty guard <laughs> warriors, and there's one of the claw pommers. The Fearsome Five. I mean, if this was Blood Bowl Fives, that would be a hell of a team. Yeah. But unfortunately, the Dwarves have 11. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it is a hell of a team, isn't it? Yeah, two perfect warriors apart from the last deal. Yeah, um, a, a proper claw pop. And then two stat freaks. It is a hell of a five-a-side team. It's a hell of a five-a-side team. He's still got this jump up as well, hasn't he? Which is uh, nice. Right, let's see something interesting. Or just kill a chaos or two. <laughs> you know, three, fine. I'm fine with that too. Just as many as you want. <laughs> just think of a number, kill that many. Yeah, oh, that's a good point. So you, you want to hit this guy, don't you? Um, which is you can do that with a jump up. The jump up can hit this. Guy, yeah, the jump up can hit that. And then you, that frees your your dirty player to uh, get the foul on him. That's a terrible, terrible push direction. No, it drops it under the dirty player. That's getting fouled. If it lives, it doesn't live to get fouled. Wow! It, doesn't. it just Jim. Why? Why don't I? How? Like it's a brilliant push try, direction. Brilliant push I might, direction. I might try now. playing dwarves. No, he they gets look two fun. Two. I mean, he's dead because he's not. This team doesn't get to play another game. <laughs> That's pretty fucking obvious by now. <laughs> it is, Lee BB. It absolutely is. This is, you know, cherish this. Tell your kids about it. You were here. In some ways, I mean, thank you to Mr. Page because, you know, he's been part of this. Right. I mean, does it live to see? Is the dirty player finally going to get to foul something? I can't believe is... you pushed him in the wrong square. Jesus Christ. Just just one D's and why not? Like, if you pushed him there and then he could have gone in there and he, it was all perfect. Oh, man. Here we are. Not finally. Finally, a piece gets to be fouled. Yeah, I'm nice excited. Foul, 
Nice it is. Foul. It's a lovely foul. It's plus three. Plus, yeah, plus three and the DP. So four on the armor break. If it's three, the one carries over. No spoilers, PC. <laughs> oh, only a stun. Weak. Boo. Not too bad. Not ridiculous. <laughs> Ten cars. <laughs> I mean, we've only moved from five chaos to four chaos that turn. I I'm a bit disappointed. I'm sure <laughs> lots of the spectators are too. You know, we come here to see multiple deaths a turn, not just the one. <laughs> yeah. So that uh, that claw doing its job there, completely not uh, injuring the dwarf in any way. And uh, that Chaos Warrior still, as it has been, all half wedded to a jump up piece that will sure as hell hit it next turn. <laughs> wow. If there's no, if if he can't set anybody up, then uh, the the turn counter is advanced two squares, and he is awarded a touchdown at random. And that could very well happen. <laughs> yeah, a complete pitch clear is possible. Yeah, I mean, having said you don't need to win in normal time, I mean, we're at the point now where just do what you want, really. Yeah. It depends. I mean, if you know, if you want to go and have some toast, then win in normal time. If you want to kill the remaining four chaos, then just don't, don't worry about it. Win in overtime. So really, I think it's... Um, I mean, I'm sure in France they have an equivalent of toast. But really, I think it's the importance of toast to you here that's probably the key factor in deciding um, whether you score or not. Certainly nothing to do with the Chaos team is in any way relevant. No. Got to, you've got to hit this uh, Edge 5, though, haven't you? Not the Claw Bomber. Oh, sick as eggs. Bomber. Is it not? And have we not been missing out on doing this? Shouldn't we have been doing Mort, Mort, Mort? <laughs> oh, he pushes him into the, he pushes him into the jump up. But um, shouldn't, he have, uh, shouldn't he have just blitzed this guy, right? Because this guy can still do something. Yeah. No, you know, I think... Yeah, I'd want that dead guy. roughly now. Because also the other two... Dangerous as they are, I can, can control them. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Whereas the Agility 5 can slip away. Yeah. Um, not that that's going to help. You know, this team's dead. Yeah. This run's dead. But he does have a chance. The, th the thing is, the Edge 5 can give him a chance with the Claw Bomb account. The Claw Bomb's going to struggle to hit anybody, really. Yeah. And also because he's still got a bench, you know, if they take out one, maybe even two dwarfs, it's fine. Yeah. Whereas the Agility 5, particularly with a couple of things to run a bit of a screen for it, could possibly, in overtime, get the ball, break down a wing, punt, run and get it. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not real, that story yeah. I've just told you, but it's, it's, the, it's the piece that needs killing now. Trust us, we're right. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. <laughs> no river duck. No, that would be something, but don't worry, it's not going to happen. <laughs> the, continuous, the continuous fouls on the strength four are good, too. Those yes. are the two most priority pieces of the remaining four. Yeah, absolutely. Because, as I said, you can, um, you know, if you've got four chaos and the ball, the agility five is probably your your thrower. So it fetches, and the other two and the strength four have to try and get off the line of scrimmage and into a position where two are screening one enough that the agility four can be a receiver. It's vaguely possible if Shu sets up quite badly. Wow, no no deaths here for a few turns. I know. Very boring. Well, that's why I'm talking about four chaos, as if there still will be four chaos. Yeah. Bring to death. <laughs> I, I think this is the bit after the major battle where we all just draw breath before the the final denouement, where the lead bad guy is offed by the hero. <laughs> Well, Chaos patched out last night. <laughs> wow, what a tragic turn. What a tragic turn. I haven't even killed anybody. Not even a kill. Yeah. Not even an armor break, in fact. 
No. Tragic. However, the agility five is uh, within range of the DP. The problem here really is that the DP's got too many targets. <laughs> I think you keep going with strength four, don't you? No, no, no. He's moving up. Maybe he doesn't count this turn. With all three pommers pomming, there's also just not quite as many assists around as you would like. Yeah. And you've kind of got to put everyone in the right place to make sure everything's safe. Ah, oh, well, there you go. You can get it okay. completely safe with the balls. Yeah, and miles away from the AG5, which, as we said, is still actually a factor. Yeah. He's just going to go for this claim. Yeah, no, it's, it's fine to foul that. And... He has put four assists in, which is the most he's had so far. Only a stun. Lame. Yeah, suddenly all the death has uh, has turned into bad rolls. Just stay down, Paige. Stay down. Oh, but then you're gonna get to then you're gonna get to play a foul for two turns. I think you just stay down, don't you? Well, I guess you can run away. The edge five can run away. The edge five could run away. Um, it could bit. dodge out, blitz, and run, but. I mean, the problem is there's a jump up blitzer that will try and run it down if it does. Mm. A strength four could blitz, blitz out. Oh, yeah. He can't because he's got stunned first. No, it's a blitz him. Two plus to dodge out, and then you could oh, blitz him. And yeah, if it fails, away. you're um, you know, you're dodging off again, aren't you? Yeah, so blitz with the edge five, and then dodge away with a strength four. Dodge away with a killer, but then why? But oh, because they don't yeah. have to play a foul. Yeah. I mean, you're not going to get the Chaos Warrior out of the centre and at least with the others there on the ground he's got to split his dwarves a bit to cover all the options um, which will allow him a lot of assists on this one and actually that's why he's running into the corner so he doesn't have to cover all the other options and he can just get all the assists in the world on any piece he chooses to Yeah. so it's uh, it's choose your foul, who would you go for here Jim? Five. Strength 4, AG5, Pommer or Warrior? Edge 500% yeah me too Although I might be tempted that the uh, the plus strength plus agility could die as well. Yeah, he's. But it looks like it's the, looks like it's the warrior he's going for. Mm. I mean, if you're going for a strength four, go for the AV8 one. Yeah. But really, the AG AG5 has to die. Yeah, like you, you just have to because they can do something even with four players on the field. Yeah. They can actually do something. Yeah, I mean, if that was an AG5 elf, you'd still think, God, that's got to die. <laughs> well, it is. It's just... It's an AG5 Beastman. It's still got to die. Mm. A wizard could roll a 1, right? So, yep. like... He can potato, uh, and you can get 4 dice on it, and, and only push him, and then your whiz, can and you, your whiz can fail, and you can get 4 dice on the ball and push. So you have to foul uh, the Edge 5 and the Edge 5. That happened to me in my first of the two awful Lizard games today, the one I lost. My wizard fizzled on a 1. No. Right, um, I think that was a terrible turn from Shu, to be honest. I understand why. He wanted to foul the strength four. He's just about controlled all the other pieces, except he hasn't. The claw pommer can dodge out. It's only a four to get two die on a nice piece. Uh, that's what I would go for. I wouldn't re-roll it, but that's what I would go for. Um, the AG5 didn't need controlling, because it can get away anyway on two twos. Yeah, it is the four plus. Does get the two die, only a push. Nice find there from Mr. Page, I think that was the right move. No, oh, but he pushed him to stand firm, that was not the right move. Oh, that was terrible. Jesus wept. <laughs> but had he got the power there, he could have powered him into there, and then it's only a 1 2 plus for the edge 5, wasn't it? Which would have yeah, been nice. I mean, it was a good move, he just then chose a bad push square. But, you know, it was a good move still, good find. I think the right hit, and a bit of pressure towards the ball. Yeah. And yes, the AG5 should have been at the very least pushed to the point where it was a single two and it could have been down the same flank on a single two plus. Um, the Chaos Warrior is controlled, but again, it was only a four plus to dodge out. I probably would have tried that with AB9 taking a hit from the grass and also meaning that to foul, he'd have to move all of his assists. Um, it just wasn't a good turn from Shu. You should, if you wanted to foul anything other than the AG5, leave it alone. Yeah. Let it get up. Let it run away. Or, better yeah. still, let it run towards the ball where you can kill it next turn. Yep. Get it, cocky. Yeah, like, like you've got to... Yeah, exactly, Sinker's Eggs. Exactly. 
Yeah. You look for where your threats are. And there, I mean, there really isn't a lot of threat. But where it is, it resides in not in these claw pieces taking out one or two dwarfs. It resides in that AG5 doing something ridiculously healthy. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you literally... Like, you have to assume that your bolt is going to fail. Mm -hmm. And and so you have to cover in kit. Like, you can't just rely on, oh, my whistle will work, and then I'll be okay. Like, you have to you have to have your tackle and stuff. It's not e that easy to defend. And, and you know, your bolt could one, and then you put your blitz could be pushes. And... You know, that's not that unreasonable for that to happen, is it? Sixteen percent and then what? About eighty percent of knockdown, isn't it? If you if you put a re roll in. Is well it? I mean in a in an ideal world he snaffles the ball and drops just deep enough that you even if you whiz it you can't get to him. So you need an armor break for that to be useful. And at the same time pushes the strength agility piece and maybe one other piece down a flank. And then he might even have a shot where you really don't have a good wizard option and he can still score in two. Um, I mean, hey, that's quite Carol. unlikely. Oh, <laughs> woohoo! Finally, so not some... dead. Yeah, someone's got to fix the server. Chaos are back on. <laughs> he will. He will get now two rolls to get his one KO'd beastman back. <laughs> There's no point conceding, is there? When's the that last is Sure. I mean, look, there really isn't good odds here for the Chaos, but there are some very, very slim 1-2% to 2 plays that do actually do good things for them. Um, now, because of the sending off, the Dwarves are capped at 11. So this turn, we just need to get that Claw firing on at least one of these Dwarves and reduce them. Yeah, so for Riot, why not? Potato with the strength four. Like, it's yeah. not that terrible. No. You can absolutely stick four dice on him and not knock him over. It's possible. Very possible. Yes, I mean, it's, it's about a one in five for that to happen. But mm -hmm. at this point, you know, you'd take that. Yeah. I mean, from there, you've still got to get, you know, the ball over the line. But it's 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 a shot. Yeah. Well, obviously, Arrow, you've got to, haven't you? Like, you've got to. That's That's got a bit... Well, you don't have to. But I think if you're playing perfect wood ball, if that was your intention, um, then what you've got to be thinking about is how do you not let this slip? Um, yep. The way to do that is to not say to your teammates, we do not let this slip and then slip. That's That's how you'd let things slip. You shouldn't do that. Yeah, um. don't do that. <laughs> and it is still things like saying, even if there's hardly any threat, where is that threat? Yeah. No, the AG5 go isn't leap. Heroic tackle. Mm. Um, but, you know, it's AG5, and that can do wonders. It probably won't. Yeah. I Ravel's right. Probably, I mean, 50% of the time she wins the toss, and there's nothing in overtime worth talking about. Yeah. yeah. But it is only 50% of the time. Yeah. And probably 80% of the time, if Mr. Page wins the toss, there's nothing worth talking about. <laughs> yeah. But there might be. <laughs> and I did mean in this specific game, not just to all Mr. Page um, drives, though. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> we'll move on. So, what happens? What happens? What happens? Oh, it's, it's tense. Exciting. It's exciting. We're about to find out. Yeah, I already know. It's. Oh, it's the dwarves. It's all over. <laughs> Fuck's sake, Hancock. <laughs> <laughs> Hancock, it's a good job my camera's not on. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Maybe it'll go to kicks. I mean, yeah, now, now that you've won the toss, obviously, it's... It's, so you know, it's, it's, yeah, it's over. It's all over.
but there was a, there was the vaguest chance of a potato and yeah, I mean you you're not wrong, I ravel. Usually when it's all going to shit in the hell in a handcart, it continues to go that way only more so. Yeah. Um but if you always quit, if you never fight that, then of course you'll always think it does. But if you do fight it, then it can sometimes be saved from the blink of oblivion. Yeah. Um I had a classic example in my um, little tr attempt to qualify for Blitzpit with the Goblins. My very first game, the first half, I got absolutely smashed to pieces. Half my team dead. He took my ball. He scored. It was just everything had gone wrong. And half my team were dead. But the second half, his dice were even worse. I got incredibly lucky. Took him to overtime, took his ball away and won. And sometimes just remarkable things happen in this game. Yeah, that nearly happened with me and uh, Calcium in... Uh... BBSL as well. I went to and look on his his receiving half. Yeah, and then, and then he just removed. You know, he, like obviously I got very good dice for that. Then he got very good dice and nearly made it two two. I thought he had a fantastic verbal chat game that that game. Yeah, it was great. I man. think the way oh. when he set up and he said, "Of course, there's no chance of this, but I've got to set up like it's going to happen, haven't I?" <laughs> yeah. And then when you had left yourself up at the front, rather than as he pointed out, hiding at the back behind a screen causing him the ridiculous dodging yeah um, you know he went oh it's nice that you've left it there for me I thought that was great he really <laughs> he really got on top of you took your ball away and uh, yeah nearly got that uh, that glorious moment I didn't want I didn't want to go in the corner because I knew we could just dodge in and fucking surf me you know like with the goblins like against goblins you don't want to hide in the corner do you? it's too easy just, no so instead you just yes you're right I mean against goblins it is very difficult yeah, I should have done the dodge out at the end though, because it was too easy to. I like, yeah. I didn't realise he just needed the push. I thought he needed the power, but I should have still looked at it. You know, I just assumed yeah. that he needed the power. But if I'd looked it out, I'd have realised, oh no, push is good enough. In which case, I've got to do the dodge. So it's a deep kick. So that's even worse. There's no chance here. Um, I mean, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you do here. You could literally put all four on the line of scrimmage and make no difference. But for this to work in any way, you had to pull the AG four or five uh, up two steps back from the line just to try and get a blitz or a misfield and punch through. Yeah. But it, yeah, it doesn't matter. It's not going to happen. And it's but setting like you had to bring you had to bring back this other blitzer right to make a screen there just in case like the yeah this is thing, something way like too that. casual. But because Mr. Page has set the only piece light to be able to respond up so f deep, it, it just doesn't matter what Shu does. Yeah. You know, he's got four turns to fetch this ball. You know, the most threat that Mr. Page is going to be is by sending him an aggressive letter. <laughs> oh. Wow. Well, what a shocker. We've had two absolute shockers in the quarters. The massive Noble yeah. team and the massive Chaos team, both not getting up. Yeah, and uh, and you know the massive Nurgle team was coached by a really good coach. Yeah, it's true. But neither of them have managed to. Uh, I mean, beautiful teams, the pair of them. Neither have managed to uh, to get it done. It's Claw not firing. <laughs> it's fucking. It's fucking thing. Yeah, pretty much try. That that was the disillusionment that I faced in Rebel after yeah, you know, after Sage annihilated my team. It's like what's the fuck? Well, I, I Ravel, are you saying that Ducky isn't a fantastic coach? I think he is. <laughs> you know what you, you know what he means, PC. <laughs> you dirty Dino. <laughs> Don't play innocent. <laughs> I think I said at the start, I think Mr. Page is quite good. And I think that's appropriate. I don't think he's very good. I think there is a better class of coach than Mr. Page. I think he's quite good. I think most people actually undervalue his coaching, which I think is better than most people think. But yes, he is prone to overhitting. He is liable to make the odd mistake. Um, we've seen some really good turns from him, and we've seen some absolute shockers. Yeah. yeah that's fair. And I'd say that to his face, and have done. Um, you know, it, it, and he's. I think he's also fine with that as a description. Yeah. He's not massively arrogant about his Budbell coaching. Um, I, I think of him as quite a realist that way. I mean, he knows he's good. He doesn't think he's the very best. He knows he's good at Blood Bowl, which he is. 
Yeah, yeah and absolutely, he could have done this. Game. Absolutely right, Sick. You know, you could be, you could be Blood Bowl Jesus himself, uh, and still have done absolutely nothing with what Chu has done to this team. And, and you say from turn eight, I mean, it, it happened in the first half. Yeah. You know, we we called this as it started happening in the first half. Mm -hmm. That this was the only way, and it seemed to be working, and it just kept working, and then worked more, yeah. and then worked better, and then worked best. Yeah. <laughs> and to be fair, when he banned when he banned Carl, you could you could understand if you didn't know who he was. You yeah. Could think this guy's, you know, you you can understand because like he's frustrated, right? And then he's pissed off, and then this guy's coming in telling you what you did wrong. You'd be like, oh fuck off. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think that's totally normal. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we, we, we're all very prone to that. I got a I got a random Discord message from someone I'd never been on the channel that I knew of, never spoken to, and said, having watched one of my VODs, I'd made a big mistake, and here's what it was. And he laid it out for me. <laughs> my instant response was, fuck you. And I'm reasonably calm about these things. <laughs> and then I read it back and realized he'd made a point. Yeah. Um, which made me even crosser. <laughs> And his play was about two and a half percent better than mine. There you go. Uh, but it is. It's... Oh, here we go. See, AG5. Yeah. I mean, it's the AG4, but it wasn't a very good shot. But he's still prepared to try it, which I like. Yeah. And it is the two. It's the pieces we pointed out that are the dangerous ones. Wow, he's just wasted. He's wasted. I guess oh. he, can get away from, uh, he can get away from him though. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he could just have done that anyway. I mean, I suppose it had to be used, and there's not going to be any threat before he scores now. So, yeah, yeah put it in this turn is fine. I think I'd have bolted the claw palmer, but. Yeah. I mean, fireball means you've got 50 50 on both, which is, is better, I suppose, than a 5 out of 6 on one. Yeah. There's no one to even hand off to, maybe the rookie. I guess not worth it. Oh no, he's, he's on 74. All right, <laughs> checked everyone except the runner. He's on 74. So that's, that's yeah, the tackle doesn't go up miss there, does it? Very nice. Don't listen if he's playing Hancock. <laughs> he gets all the um, strength by. I mean, actually, you've got your tackle, kickoff, return. Both good options there. Though move seven, I, I don't necessarily feel needs kickoff return. As urgently. How has he not blocked him here? <laughs> How did he manage to not block him? <laughs> yeah, he deserves it's... to get powered. Honestly, he deserves to get powered. How did you just not block him? He just needed three players, and he couldn't have got there. Yep. Now he's out of range, so he's got to. Uh, he's got to make dice rolls. It's just unforgivably terrible, isn't it? Well, no, well, I mean, it's good. fine. It's 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 all fine. And even if it hadn't, you know, had worked, it would still all have been fine. But yeah. it's not fine, is it? it it's casual and it's yeah. loose, yeah. and it didn't need to happen. That's the point. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. As far as perfect blood ball goes, that was pretty fucking far. Perfect. But it is easy to be like that when you're in such a dominant position and you're having fun. You've cast nine. Yes. You've cast, yeah. you've cast nine chaos players. Ten actually, just, because there was an apple. You know, you've dropped down into fourth gear, which you shouldn't, because this is the quarterfinal of a chalice, something you want to win. Yeah. Um, now I don't want to, you know, come over the miserly carmudgeon here, but I just want to point out that was the agility four and the agility five that have been the risks in these two turns in overtime. Um, which I think a couple of wise men did point out was likely to be the case, Jim. Yeah, I do believe there were two. Not only wise, but also very intelligent and handsome. Uh, <laughs> handsome. <laughs> Some would say modest. Yes, yes, of course modest, yeah. Um, yeah. Brilliant. Funny, charming. <laughs> All uh, look, of those things. <laughs> it does look like he's kind of learnt his lesson, because... He has put an entire line of dwarfs yes. between the strength four one and the uh, and the ball carrier, yes. and he's surfing the agility five one. So he's decided he doesn't want it on the pitch. Now we didn't want it on the pitch quite a while ago. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. 
And he blitzed without block, which was the funniest brilliant. thing. He had the block right there. Brilliant. He had the Absolutely block. brilliant. Totally <laughs> he had, deserved. He had the block here. He could have gone far and blitzed, and he blitzed without block. One thousand percent should have been a death. <laughs> now it's a 1D. Oh, man. Look at yeah. that score. Now, it is a 6-plus that Paige needs here, but... I mean, I wouldn't begrudge him a 6 right now, would you? No, brilliant. Go for it. Imagine if he just rolled the six, bounces oh. to there, and he goes three, four, wow. five, six. Yeah. Seven, eight. Because with, it, with ability five, he could legitimately have collected his own ball, run away with it. Yeah. And that could then have been maybe possibly a mild problem for the dwarves. Yeah. Um, it's. I mean, people probably thought these stupid old fools saying he has to be safe. This is all over and won. You know? And it turns out. I mean, it is, but it, <laughs> it's just needlessly sloppy, isn't it? Which, which is yeah, understandable. Absolutely. Well. well, it is, but it's it's also not. You don't have to do this. I understand why he is playing sloppy, but this is a choice. This is. Oh yeah. But it's totally understandable. I mean, you know, that neither of them are professional sportsmen, are they? <laughs> no, but they are experienced enough at the blood bowl to know you don't take your eye off a game even this one yeah blood ball games can unwin themselves yeah. now here we've got shoes going back to look it's the most sensible blitz it's not with the palm it's not with the mighty blow it's not doing any go for it it's sensible yeah. however he probably should have retreated as in front of the ball carrier but it's fine where he's gone it creates another two plus Oh wow, Coffee Monster, that's brilliant. That he can't say swimming trunks. What he can say is swimming sea nuts. That's that's a great fit. That is brilliant, Coffee Monster. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sarah Silverman has always credited her success. She's a very well-known American comedian. Uh, her success as a comedian to the fact that her parents taught her to swear from the age of three, and she loved the impact it had on adults. When it was a little cute three-year-old girl, she'd come down and say, Daddy, where's my fucking teddy bear? Okay, that's okay. Don't say see not. <laughs> I wasn't going to. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, I just realised. Yeah, that's um, pretty good. And she said that's what's made her an alternative, a, a comedian. Mm -hmm. Right, so once again, the AG5 tries the cage dive. That's uh, not that difficult. It only requires a four. Yeah, that was the best thing about... Uh, what was that? Movie wasn't it? Kick ass. That was the best thing about Kick ass was Hit Girl just swearing, <laughs> swearing yeah. all the time. It was very amusing. And so Shu does limp over the line. Um, fabulous performance. Great coaching. Yeah. Perfect. Absolute perfection. Make ten cars from about fifteen hits, and you too yeah. can be as good as this. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he's made 45 blocks for 10 cars as well, but like about 20 of those were after, weren't they? Like he literally yeah. just made 10 cars and then like didn't do anything for 25 blocks afterwards. It was just, it was yes, just absolutely. insane. It was awful. I mean, you're boring. probably right. It probably was 10 out of 20 yeah. and then 25 that achieved nothing towards the end. Yeah. Um, Unreal. Wow. <laughs> yeah, 25 armor breaks. Wow. <laughs> Unfucking believable. Right. I mean,. Mr. Page got, got banged on. There's there's just no denying that. He did a bit of banging himself, but he got full banged on. Yeah. Um, commiserations to Mr. Page. Uh, congratulations to anyone that ever rolls dice like that, but this <laughs> evening to Choublanc. Yeah. We did have the fabled for Kazel OS, don't we? Which is, which is rare even for Clawpom. Oh, yeah. Even Clawpom dreams of that. Yeah. And for dwarves against two AV9, it's not like there was elves. <laughs> yeah, unbelievable. And it's not like any were KOs. They're, they're four Kaz. Yep, absolutely unreal. So there you go. Congrats, Chewbank. Commiserations. Was it the last <laughs> time we saw Page play Blood Bowl? Well, I did pop on his stream just at the most bleakest moment <laughs> um, because I mean I do like him, and he did say that he thought Spory Storybook. Snorrybook contact would be contract. That storybook nonsense he does would be up very soon. So yes, I think he's um, 
I think we may have lost him for a bit from Blood Bowl. Small I think that book. game would kill all of our uh, love of the game. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, thank you very much, PC, for jumping Pleasure. in. Pleasure. Glorious, as always. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.